Mark Wahlberg, this is Optimus Prime. I am here to ask you, will you be in the newest Transformers film with me? Are you fucking kidding me, Optimus? Of course I'll do it, man. I just only have one condition, though, bro. I want to use an alien gun. I don't want to be like Shia LaBeouf or I'm just running around screaming, Optimus! I actually want to do some shit, man. So please give me an alien gun to shoot some shit, and then everything's all good, man. That's all the condition. Alien gun, boom. I am in the newest Transformers, Optimus Prime. What do you say, man? Deal. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review Transformers Age of Extinction. So, this film is directed by Michael Bay. It stars Mark Wahlberg, Nicola Peltz, Jack Rayner, Stanley Tucci, TJ Miller, and Kelsey Grammer. This movie takes place four years after the events of Dark of the Moon, you know, with the final battle in Chicago. Ever since that battle, the Decepticons, the Autobots, any Transformers in general are banned from Earth. They are no longer welcome, so they've been hiding for these past four years. There are people hunting down any Transformers that they see and just shoot them down. Mark Wahlberg plays this mechanic who is a father and just wants to try to provide for his daughter and hopes to pay for her college. He finds this rusty old truck, but this rusty old truck turns out to be Optimus Prime. So Mark Wahlberg, Nicola Peltz, and Jack Rayner, who plays Nicola Peltz's boyfriend, the three of them tag along with Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and the Autobots to take down Lockdown's plan and just... Transformers stuff goes on. So to be perfectly honest, I really enjoy all three of the Transformers movies. I know they're not very well received, two especially, but to be honest, I actually really enjoy two. I just personally have a lot of fun with it. All three of the Transformers films are very fun, awesome popcorn flicks to me. And I was just so excited for Transformers 4. Transformers 4, Age of Extinction, is the most disappointing movie I've seen this year. And it is the worst Transformers movie ever. Let me get into my pauses before I say what my problems with this film were. The action sequences are still spectacular. This film is two hours and 45 minutes long. Yes, it's that long. It's the longest of the franchise so far, but Throughout the 2 hours and 45 minutes, if there's one thing that has kept my attention from beginning to end, it is the action sequences, the spectacle of them, how they are filmed. It's very well edited and there is barely any shaky cam this time around, which is really good because I noticed with the first one, even though the action in that film is awesome, there is some shaky cam. This one, I could I only spot like maybe one or two moments of being a little bit shaky but all the other action scenes are very well filmed they actually have more wider shots which i think looks beautiful the visual effects on the action sequences still look really good if not possibly even better than the first three movies which also have really great action sequences but i mean as more of these transformers movies go on you're gonna see improvement on the visual effects the voice talents on the autobots are really good peter cullen still kicks ass as Optimus Prime. He just nails the role easily. It was also great to hear new voices like John Goodman, Ken Watanabe. My favorite definitely being John Goodman's character. His name is Hound and he was just a really enjoyable character. He's the one with the cigar. He says his little one-liners when he's kicking ass and I did really enjoy it. So John Goodman, he was definitely really good. I never really cared for the Autobots in the original trilogy, the first three movies. I cared about Optimus Prime, I cared about Bumblebee, but the other Autobots, I just didn't. In this fourth film though, the Autobots, I actually really cared for the new ones. I cared about Ken Watanabe, I definitely cared about John Goodman, and I cared about all the other Autobots that were in there. Mark Wahlberg, I think he is a very good lead. Even though I did enjoy Shia LaBeouf in the original trilogy, I do think Mark Wahlberg is a better lead just because he actually holds an alien gun and fights with the Transformers. And Shia LaBeouf, he is sacrificing his life. So that's why I respect the character. Yes, he's scared. Yes, he screams. Yes, he runs. But at least he's doing it for his life. And that's something I always respect about the character. And I feel like not enough people give credit for it. They just, he just made fun of for being screaming and running. 
but you know the character he at least is being brave so that's why i enjoyed shia labeouf but mark Wahlberg actually does have something to do kelsey Grammer does a really good job as this guy that doesn't want any of the transformers on earth anymore he bans them so i thought he did a very good job with his role especially given how the script is he definitely did a good job with it and the dinobots are only in this film for 10 minutes which is near the end but when the dinobots do appear really awesome and it's just a lot of fun to watch now let's go on to my problems with this movie i gotta talk about the actors the side characters i just really don't care about them the acting from nicola peltz jack rayner T.J. Miller especially and everyone else just didn't do a good job and that's definitely the script because of what the characters are given. I just really don't care about anyone in this film except for Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg's character is the only one I really cared about, the only character I was rooting for. I know people complain about the side characters in the original trilogy, but the thing is this. I really enjoy the side characters in the original trilogy. Josh Duhamel, John Turturro, Tyrese Gibson, they all did a really good job in the film. The side characters risking their lives, including Shia LaBeouf, his character at least has the guts to go out and sacrifice himself. Whereas Mark Wahlberg is the only character, human character, actually going out and sacrificing his own life. The side characters everybody in this movie are wimps they are such wimps stanley tucci is a wimp nicola pelt is a wimp she's only sacrificed her life in like one scene jack rayner he's an even bigger wimp it's like all the characters except for mark Wahlberg, are just pure wimps and it was just really annoying really repetitive and i know i was trying to make the movie funny but it just easily fails at it. Stanley Tucci, who did start out very interesting, he he was very good when we first see his character, and then once he tags along with Mark Wahlberg, Stanley Tucci just becomes one of the most annoying characters in this film. He does say a couple of lines that did make me laugh, but overall, once his character tags along with Mark Wahlberg, he just gets so annoying. His acting is really over the top. But I gotta say, the worst actor in this film and it really hurts me to say this is tj miller tj miller is a funny guy he's a talented actor in this film though wow he is atrocious and i really don't like saying that his character is the comic relief why do i do that because he wasn't funny at all he was extremely annoying Thank goodness he was only in the first act, though, because I I could barely survive the first act with T.J. Miller's character just shouting and being annoying. And I'm sorry, T.J. Miller, you're a talented actor, but your acting was just unwatchable in this film, man. You really deserve better than this. Also, when it comes to the comedy in the first three films, as over-the-top and preposterous they are, they do make me laugh. Yes. Even some of the preposterous humor in Revenge of the Fallen. That actually makes me laugh. Transformers 4 easily fails at every attempt at humor. Only a few lines make me laugh. And if there is a laugh that would come out of me, it would be what some of the stuff that John Goodman's character would say. But the humor overall really fails. A couple of funny lines from Stanley Tucci and a few funny lines from John Goodman's character. But... Everything else falls flat so miserably that it's not even funny. The storyline is really convoluted for this film. And what really bugs me about Transformers 4 is how this is so inconsistent with the original trilogy. Yes, the Chicago battle from Dark of the Moon is mentioned, like in the beginning, and it's like all of a sudden for the rest of the movie, they completely forget about that. Well, the the three characters are in Chicago for a while, which was a really great uh, action scene from there. It's like Michael Bay directed this fourth film as if it was the first 
Transformers film he made because it's like he completely erased the first three films. It's like he calls this a continuation, yet it doesn't really feel like a continuation. Even if they do mention the Dark of the Moon final battle, it just feels like they just completely throw that away, turn it into something else, and it just gets so convoluted. Where is the military, like Josh Duhamel, Tyrese Gibson, all the other military men, they could help Shia LaBeouf and them kick some ass with the Transformers, yet they're not helping Mark Wahlberg, Nicola Peltz, Jack Rayner, and the others fight with the Transformers. It's really just Mark Wahlberg and the Transformers and the Dinobots near the end fighting. But no military. Where were those guys? Isn't Bumblebee Sam's car? What is Bumblebee doing in this film? I can understand Optimus Prime being in here because he's really important. He's the one that's the leader of the Autobots. But Bumblebee, he had a real connection with Sam. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about the original trilogy. How much of a connection that Sam and Bumblebee really had with each other. And it's all like even Bumblebee in this film completely forgot about who Sam was. Optimus Prime forgot who Sam was. It's all like these Transformers are in this film. And I know it's not considered a reboot. It's actually still considered a fourth film in the franchise. The storyline with the Seed and the Autobots game band really hurts your brain because of how cluttered and messy the writing and the storytelling really is. It's just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? This is happening. This is happening. Oh, there's the bounty hunter. This and that, that. Oh my gosh, and some of the dialogue is just so cringeworthy. I'm not gonna lie, I actually did laugh at the line, my face is my warrant. It's a terrible line, but I actually did laugh at that. All the other lines where they try to be funny and cheesy, it's... wow. It was also very rushed in the finale, like the last 15 minutes I would say is when the film started to feel very rushed. They were obviously trying to wrap up all the action so they could finally end the movie. And honestly, with all the problems I have with this film, the running time honestly is the least of my problems. I was actually fine with the 2 hour and 45 running time. Maybe it's because there's a lot of action that helped me get through the running time. But yeah, I really didn't mind the long running time honestly. But that doesn't excuse the fact that this was 2 hours and 45 minutes of a very convoluted mess of a movie with very cluttered storyline, very inconsistent with the, with the original trilogy, annoying as hell side characters, very atrocious acting, stupid dialogue, terrible humor, and really just being such an unnecessary fourth film. This film did not need to exist. Michael Bay was fine with just the first three films because I really enjoy those first three films. But now he has this fourth film which is supposedly a continuation but it really isn't. So it's all like Michael Bay is not even sure how to continue this fucking franchise. The film has good action. Mark Wahlberg does a good job. Kelsey Grammer too. Stanley Tucci was good up until he tagged along with Mark Wahlberg. Then he started to become really over the top. I really enjoyed John Goodman's character. I really enjoyed the new Autobots. Voices are great. And even though I did not like this film, the action scenes at least helped me get through this whole movie. Not only one of the worst movies I've seen this year, not only the worst Transformers movie ever, but it is the most disappointing movie of this year. This honestly makes me really sad because I really enjoy the first three films. Yes, I understand that they're preposterous, they're stupid, but at least those three films to me had some kind of common sense. This fourth film, it was like... There was no common sense. It was so crazy. Honestly, I wasn't pissed off as I was watching this film. I was just so bummed on how bad it was. Even with the good action, there has to be more to it. There has to be at least a storyline for me to get entertained to. I have to not just care about Mark Wahlberg. I want to care about the side characters. Overall, Transformers 4 is just one cluttered mess. I hated this movie. I am giving Transformers Age of Extinction one and a half out of four stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!